Hi guys, uh, Ivan the MTG Completionist. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be reviewing Scourge. It's uh, the last of the vintage sets that came uh, in this kind of old style foiling before we enter the modern era. It's um, a very special set for many ways uh, and we'll go over it in a bit. The set symbol is a dragon skull. Um, the lore is um, Phage and uh, Akroma got in a massive conflict and fight which caused uh, ripples throughout the plane of Dominaria. They both died and became with Jessica this false goddess called Corona, which is a combination of Akroma, uh, Phage, and Jessica. And the story of the set is the fighting to get to go for the downfall uh, and destroying Corona. And uh, Kamal, who is also an important character in the story, is trying to rescue his sister, Jessica. So here we go. I, I, I rem Actually, I should probably tell you a bit more about the dynamics uh, and the mechanics of the set, which a lot of people have asked. Um, so here, I think there's a heavy play on morph and cycling which um, which we'll see throughout the set and on the cards. This is also this was also called the dragon set with a lot of dragons and uh, tribes. So tribe mechanics, sets, and the five color decrees. So we'll go over this in a bit. I'm I'm still really reminiscent of, of these foils. I know I've completed these sets a long time ago. And sorry, let me make sure I have it all. Yes, I have it in frame. Great. I'm still very reminiscent of of, uh, of this. It's it's dear to heart. I completed them a long time ago, and and the foiling compared to what we see now, for example, like you know, this is the newest set, and this is what you had back in the day. I mean, there's just. Like this looks like junk. This came out a week ago. Look at, you know what I mean? Look at just the condition and the details. It's insane. I've, I've put very little effort into taking care of these cards. I mean, sure they're in binders and all that, but this is less than a week. Not exposed to anything straight out of a collector booster. It's just a shame. So yes, I, I love these old foils. They are, they were just properly done. I wish Wizards went back to making an effort and made foils special again. That that would be really wonderful. I, I'd love to I'd love to show you um, a bunch more and more sets as we go over this. Do you remember the Silver Knight? It's uh it's kind of a throwback to the White Knight and the Black Knight from Alpha. Um, this this is the other combination which have protection from red and from blue. So you'll have the Silver Knight and then we'll see the other one. Day of the Dragons and Brain Freeze, also an important card. And Foil. I'll be doing a top five most expensive cards in non-foil and top five most expensive cards in foil um, as soon as we finish going over the set and we'll visit them again um, as uh, when it's when we're when we're done going over it. I'm sure Pemin, Pemin's aura is one of them. Mine's desire. How gorgeous. Oh, I think I have two of them. Yeah, one in beautiful condition and one in French, funny enough, completely destroyed. Look at that. You can see that probably saw play. I grew up in France, so I have a, a lot of cards that are in, that are in French I've, I've had in my childhood. So looks like I attempted to play with Mind's Desire. And all the war chiefs, I remember, yeah, illusions. So soldiers for white, illusions for blue. It has to be goblin for for um, 
for red, for black, it's the undead, and for green, it's probably beasts. Let's see. Raven Guildmaster. Oh, Stifle. Look, I'm cheating again. This is a French foil Stifle. So I have a complete set in English, but not for Stifle. So one card, and one of the important ones. That's another one I need to be working on. Thanks to you helping me review it and me being able to share it with you, I'm seeing mistakes that I made throughout my collection. So I'm very grateful for it. And Bladewing, of course, we're going to see Bladewing this set. And the Sliver Sovereign. That's exciting. The next decree is the Decree of Pain, Lethal Vapors. We had those in all, in all colors. Soul Collector is the pre-release. And yep, it's a vampire. Can we see it well? Yes, we can. 17th of May, 2003 is when this came out and you can see the dragon skull etchings. There we go. On the card, which is fun. I, I love seeing that. I, the date really is, does some special stuff for me. Unspeakable Symbol is also a great card, and here's the Undead War Chief, which I believe is in our top five. We shall return to it. Dragon Tyrant, who remembers this? Beautiful foil, gorgeous art by Kev Walker. Just a direction in the art for these sets, I think, is, is very much un, um, unmatched. I, I wish uh, I wish we had kind of a return to this dynamic. And do you remember the Dragon Speaker Shaman? I'm sure many of us had Dragon decks, Dragon Mage, and tried to get these impossibly large creatures onto play into play. Form of the Dragon and Goblin War Chief. Siege Gang Commander, which. Uh, was hot for a while because it created all those goblins that you'd then sacrifice to do damage. I remember that. Our Decree of Savagery. The Ancient Ooze. What did you guys play with? I I'd love to hear about the decks that you built in the, um, in the comments. I, I have a I've been having a blast going over them and answering all of you. And there's our Crozen War Chief, which does make Beast one, one less to play. These are, these are fun. These are really great. Ancient Aberration. Oh, Upwelling. That's a Kamal. I don't think there's a Kamal card. There is no Kamal card. This set. But that's him. Let's, let's read this for a second. Once again, Kamal felt the full force of the Mirari's pull, but he had learned much since last time. I think he became green, green aligned by this point. He left the the red and um, and became the druid. I think this is the page that everyone wanted to see. So here we are. Wow, there are two. That's cool. Sliver Overlord. Wow, and yep. Well, I pulled this one off of an Italian pack. I remember that. That's that's how it is. In Europe, you have all these, um, um, I mean, you know, Spain, Italy, uh, France, and England are very, are all close to each other. So we're, we can easily encounter different packs. And uh, I remember pulling this, which back in the day wasn't that big of a deal, but today, I guess it's pretty special. This gorgeous sliver overlord, blade wing the risen, and Corona, the false goddess, false god, sorry. <laughs> they're, they bring a lot of memories to me and they're very special. And even the edge walker. All right, so let's go over a quick top five. So I have it written down. The top five cards are obviously number one, Sliver Overlord is the most expensive card in the set. And then we have Stifle right here, Pemmin's Aura, there, 
and oh, Undead War Chief. Here we go. And then the Decree of Silence. I am not sure what color that is. Decree of Justice. Will it be blue? Yes, blue. Decree of Silence. There we go. We found it. And the foil rares are going to be uh, three of the multicolors, um, which are the Sliver Overlord, Corona, and Bladewing, which we just went over. And are right here and still stunning. Bladewing, Corona, and Overlord, with Overlord being the number one. And then Stifle and Brain Freeze, which are Brain Freeze and Stifle. Um, I'd love to know what you think. I hope this was fun to watch. Um, maybe I'll try and work on some of the editing to, to have all the cards together um, at the end and at the beginning for the foil and the non-foils. Uh, let me know what you think and if there are anything, uh, other sets that you want to see next and more that you, we can talk about. Have a great day, guys.